Hi friends, welcome back. It's a bonus day 15. I wanted to do this kind of wrap up and go over my thoughts and kind of favorites from the 14 days of sunscreen. I'm not actually, I was thinking about doing like my least favorites as well, but I don't think any of them are so, so terrible. Well, okay, the Cetaphil one was terrible just because it made my eyes sting, but you know, I think some people may still like it and may still use it. So I didn't want to go over my least favorites. I just think, like I said, like there's probably some room for everyone to like something in what I covered, but I did want to go over my favorites, the ones that I'm reaching for the most, even some of them are new, some of them are not new, and just let you know my thoughts. So let's get in. If you're not already subscribed, do so below. Give this video a like and we will get going. Here comes the sun and I say it's alright. Also, I got dressed today. I put on real clothes. How cute is this tank top? It's from Target. Did my makeup. This is not a everyday occurrence. So at least give me a like for that. <laughs> okay, let's start. I actually have a pretty good mix of all different kinds, mineral, chemical, matte, not matte, glowy, all the things. So the first one I wanted to start out with, and this is in no particular order, but this is the to Tokobo, Tokobo? I'm gonna go with Tokobo. Um, I'm really not trying to say it wrong, I just don't know. <laughs> so this is the one that we reviewed on, what was it? I have it over there. I forget which day, but hopefully you saw it. This is the Bio Watery Sun Cream SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. This stuff is amazing. The only thing I would change about it is the scent. It's not a terrible scent. It's supposed to smell like cotton, but I just don't love it. And I also like, I don't need a scent in my sunscreen. I don't think it's going to irritate people, but I just kind of, sometimes I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't love it. So that's literally the only thing I would change. It's really affordable. You can get it on Amazon. It goes on like an absolute dream. You get high protection, doesn't sting your eyes. Like what else could you love? It's not too glowy. It's not too matte. It's just everything. <laughs> Okay, the next one that I fell in love with and have been pretty much wearing, not, I'm not wearing it today. I'm actually not wearing any of these today, but I've been wearing this a lot, is the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen. This stuff, like they did something right with this and the only thing I would change about it, I guess I'm just going through what I would change, <laughs> is that it's only SPF 30. I would love to see it SPF 35, 40, of course 50 would be great but I will still deal with 30 and I will still wear it. But it gives you this such sheer coverage, like just the sheerest little speck of coverage, but enough that like it kind of makes you just look a little bit healthier, a little bit more awake, more alive. It doesn't make your skin too glowy. I can wear it in the summer so far. I mean, not. I'm not gonna wear this when I'm out like mowing the grass. That's just not gonna happen because it is mineral and it's not waterproof, but inside, under makeup, on its own, it makes me not want to wear makeup. Let's just put it that way. And I think that is one of the best things that you can find with the sunscreen because some, so many times you find a sunscreen and you're like, this is great, but I have to do this, this, and this to make it kind of like presentable for me to go out. Not this one. This one, just beautiful. So if you haven't watched any of the videos that I am re referencing, just go to the playlist. They're gonna all be there. I'm not gonna go over like the specs of it and everything because it's all there. Another one that I love thoroughly is this Frezzy Derm Second Skin. The packaging I could totally do without. I feel like it's very bulky. I have traveled with it so it does actually work and like this little thing, you can close it this way. But this is a great option for something like the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. It's not necessarily going to be a whole, whole lot cheaper, but it is a very good, sorry, I was just looking at, wondering if the expiration date was passed, but it's not. <laughs> But if you're in Europe and maybe you can't get the super group one, this is a good option. For those of us in America, I wouldn't say to go out of your way to get it because you can get other options here. But if you're just wanting to try something new from Greece, which is one of my favorite countries in the world, this is a great matte velvet, 100% clear for every skin tone, very good option. And it also is very waterproof. Like, I don't know if they say that, but I have sweat in it many, many times and it is still there. So great under makeup, great alone, great if you're just wanting something very easy and clear. The next one that I also was kind of not expecting to like, it tends to be that a mineral sunscreen, I tend to think like, oh, just another mineral sunscreen that I'm gonna hate. 
And the two that really surprised me are the, what we already talked about, this Fab First Aid Beauty, and then the Indie Lee. Now, if I'm going to have to choose between the two, I will choose the First Aid Beauty. This one has more of a tint to it. There's more of an undertone. It kind of pulls a little bit warm. I will show you this one on my hand. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll show you both so you can kind of see the undertone. So this one is the Indie Lee. You can see how it's warmer, and this is the First Aid Beauty. This is with just a little bit of minimal rubbing in. And you can see the First Aid Beauty one, which is this one, I feel like on my undertone, it just really pulls more neutral. It doesn't feel like I have kind of a color on, but it's definitely more cool toned versus the Indie Lee, which is, it actually looks really nice on my hand right now, but when I have it on my face in the correct amount, I feel like it does pull a little bit more warm, kind of like, basically I don't have to wear a bronzer with this. Um, it's plenty of kind of warmth to my skin, but it has a very similar texture so lightweight so fluid i love that about it easy to rub in easy to use the correct amount the only thing i don't like is i don't know guys i think i've decided officially i hate dropper bottles for sunscreens like this one just has this little guy which is actually very messy these days it's everywhere but for, i would prefer that over a dropper because you just never get the right amount out and it's like a whole thing to get the perfect amount and i feel like people will never use the correct amount but this one is beautiful, I love it a lot. Also, I did wanna say this one only has 12% zinc oxide, whereas the First Aid Beauty has 22%. So if that is important to you, this one again would be maybe a little bit stronger, but very good option here. Okay, the last two, and I realize if I keep going, I'm just gonna review all of them again, so I kinda of need to like pair back. But I wanted to talk first about these four, which are really like two chemical, two mineral, very lightweight, very easy to use, like your typical sunscreens. And then I wanted to talk about two that I really use more like makeup these days. And those are the Suntegrity and the Beekman. So this one, it says Milk Tint SPF 43. It's a skin tint. I just think of it like it is in my makeup drawer. It's not with the sunscreens. It gives me bonus of added SPF. And it is a beautiful, beautiful tint, but I just don't think of it like a sunscreen. So we have that one. And then we have the Suntegrity, which has way more coverage than pretty much anything. Well, you know what, honestly, these kind of have pretty similar coverage, but this one has a thicker kind of feel. It doesn't feel like a skin tint. It feels like a cream. I mean, it is, but the shade on this, I have the shade buff out of the world. Like if I could have all of my sun tinted sunscreens in this shade, I would. It's the perfect shade for me. So I keep reaching for it because of that. It makes it so easy to kind of wear it, but both of them I really do wear as makeup and I wear it usually over another mineral sunscreen. So that's where we are. Those are the sunscreens, my favorites from this 14 days. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, series and I have an idea for the next one. It won't be kind of the like 14 days of sunscreen for the build up to summer, but I have an idea. So if you did enjoy this series, let me know below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.